process we're going to go, and then I'm going to ask you another question after that. Okay, so answer that right now? Yeah. All right, well, I think B-Boy should be harmonized, just like you said before. Um, I have two boys, uh, twins, 19 years old, and they're B-Boying right now. And I come from old school B-Boying uh, in, in the 80s. So to see my sons do what I used to do, it's awesome. And they're just taking it to a different level. You know, the, what I'm seeing now, uh, how they're getting paid, and the type of uh, moves and skills that these guys have, compared to what we used to do in the 80s, it's just incredible. And it definitely should be a, a sport because you see the acceleration of what we used to do back in the 80s to now what they're doing in 2010. Uh, and I can imagine how far more it can go. So it definitely should be a sport, but you definitely want to keep it uh, uh, show, socialized too because it was built in the street. It was made in the street. You want to keep it there uh, so that you don't lose that type of flavor. All right. Now, as you were saying, like, you should, like, it's okay being a sport, but, like, just keep it, like, you know, like you said, a social thing, where, yeah. like, it's things like that. All right, so let me give you an example. I've been asking everybody this question, but if you see, like, the scene in Korea where, like, everybody's, like, who's a b-boy, like, gets to have, like, a studio or, like, just get paid, like, by sponsorships and stuff like that. Like, I mean, TIP was sponsored by an ice cream company, for God's sake, you know, and, like, stuff like that. So that's, like, the extreme version of what happened to, like, b-boying and sponsorships. You want America to go towards that direction, or you want us to have like more of like a social feel instead of like just competing, competing, competing? No, I think that it should definitely go in that direction. Uh, the reason why is because it gives the younger generation an incentive to work harder, you know, to get paid. You know, my boys, they, they love doing this. They, they, they practice six days a week, and if they can do seven, they'll do seven. And um, I would like to uh, uh, see them uh, go further. You know, they, ha they have done uh, movies, they have done competitions, they travel all around the country. And why not? If you're good at one thing and you're really good at it, why not get paid and get your name out there and be famous? Why not? Okay. Now you said like get paid and get famous. Now, like in the 80s, you said you started from the, you were yeah. from the 80s, right? So Young City B-Boys, right? Young City. Young yes. Cities. Now, we all know in the 80s what happened, you know, it got exploded by the media, then it just pretty much crashed and burned to the ground, and, and we had to rebuild everything up again. I could tell you the difference. Okay. Corporate America got involved, and they were trying to run it. Over here, you see people like Kid Glide, you see people like Mr. Freeze, Kid Freeze. Those are people that have come from the 80s, and people that are, are, are doing it now, that are now pushing the sport forward. So now you have b-boying, b-boys uh, training b-boys and, and, and helping other b-boys get paid. They know what it takes to be a b-boy. Before it was a corporation, now the same b-boys are, are the ones that are putting out the money and making the money, so why not? So you're basically saying that as long as the b-boys is like in charge of like b-boying itself, then it's, it's gonna be okay down the line. Of course, of course. So what about 10, 20, and like 150 years from now when like this gets even bigger as we feel like it, sh it will be like? You think it will stay this direction or you think it will like be off and become something totally different? Well, that, that's, that depends with the younger generation. You see, like a person like Kid Glide, if, and I know he's smart, I've worked with him at jams that I have thrown myself, is that he is not only a b-boy, but he's business-minded. So now what he's going to do now, he's going to take it to the next level and he's not gonna let uh, the corporations just come and take over. He's gonna be working with the corporation and saying, okay, this is my terms, this is what we make, and this is what we have to uh, give them for uh, a breaking. And um, he has gotten a lot of uh, commercials and a lot of uh, shows from my kids, and they got paid from that, so why not? All right, thank you for your time. Uh, one more thing, just, can you just like say your name one more time and then say your boys' names, just so like just put it out there real quick. All right, and any Julio Pacheco from Five Crew Dynasty, and uh, my boys Anthony and Julian. Right. The twins, they know it. All right, the twins, all right, as y'all see that. Thank you.